Fight Club 25, we in here, man. Joseph Parker versus Andy Ruiz Jr., man. Here we have these two guys at the press conference, man. The pre-fight presser uh, and the face-off, man. And I want to give my thoughts on it. I want to give my thoughts on it because I know that <clears throat> a lot of people who uh, watch this uh, press conference and face-off and things of that nature, they probably felt... That it was uh, somewhat lackluster, man. You know, no real buildup, uh, no tension between these two guys, man. You know, you see him here in this video after the uh, face-off. You'll see them uh, meeting each other's parents and uh, <laughs> shaking hands and smiling and, and things of that nature, man. It's a big moment for both of these guys. Uh, so, you know, like I said, people will probably say it's uh, somewhat lackluster in comparison to uh, Dillian White and Derek Chisora uh, in throwing tables <laughs> at each other, man, and things of that nature. Those dudes funny, man. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with those guys, but they're, they're trying to sell that card. They're trying to sell that card the best way that they possibly can and justifiably so. You know, because um, I feel nobody really wants to see uh, Anthony Joshua fight Eric Molina, man. You know what I'm saying? So they got to sell that card some kind of a way. And uh, they're doing a very good job of it. But these two guys, man, they're nice guys. They're humble. And that's cool. And that's cool. Uh, Joseph Parker is being co-promoted by Bob Arum now. If he is to win the WBO title, we could look forward to seeing Joseph Parker in some big fights here where I'm at in the United States, man, which is a good thing. He'll be on the big stage, high profile, uh, decent, big money fights, man. Uh, but there has to be a selling point for these fights, man. You could be the nicest guy in the world, have the greatest skill set. But uh, you know, this is a business at the end of the at the end of the day. We all know Joseph Parker is not made to play the villain, man. He's not that type of guy, man. It's not in his character. But uh it would be good if he at some point is put in there with a, a villain, someone who uh, you know, is known for smack talking and bravado, uh, you know, to create a kind of a uh, you know, bad guy, good guy storyline, man. Things like that. Uh, what sells fights man and he's gonna need this uh going uh forward in his career man if he wants to get on the big stage get the big money fights just my observation just wanted to uh point that out man uh andy ruiz jr joseph parker they both seem like nice humble guys i wish both of them the best i hope no one gets hurt uh 